y'all to hear that song. That song I've been playing for two, three weeks straight. That is uh, Tim Rogers. And I, I happened to just find the song listening to our local radio station like three Sundays ago. And uh, I don't know. I just wanted to encourage somebody and tell you he's going to fix it. Tim Rogers and the fellas fix it. Hey, y'all. Welcome, everybody. Uh, it is our our Tuesday weekly teaching. And uh, hey, Brother Grant, congratulations on the baby, man. Congratulations on the baby. Those of y'all that are on Facebook, uh, Twitter, um, let me see, YouTube, When the Right One Comes, YouTube, Greg Davis Live. I don't know if y'all know, I have a, a Greg Davis Live YouTube, and that's strictly for ministry, and it has some great interviews on there that I did about relationship some time ago. Um, Clubhouse, of course, my family, TikTok. We everywhere, all right? We everywhere. We all we all over. Instagram. Um, if I were you today, I would um, share this. And I need my mods to look out for those that come in. Um, if y'all could share on, on all platforms, um, I pray that your Juneteenth was amazing. Father's Day. I was traveling for both. Uh, but I'm back in Detroit. Uh, I'm going to be in Atlanta um, July 1st, speaking for Destiny Inspire, doing a session with her on relationships. So if you're in Atlanta, go to uh, Destiny's page, Destiny Inspire, and you can register for that. Um, you can register for that uh, conference. She's, I think she's having a one-day conference. But I'm going to be in town. Y'all always say, Bishop, tell me when you're going to be somewhere. Tell me when you're going to be somewhere. Um, uh, and so I'm telling y'all when I'm going to be somewhere. Um, again, welcome, everybody. Hope y'all doing good. If y'all could share and like and send uh, likes and and um, things uh, on Instagram, y'all know what to do. Uh, y'all bring the shine up. Uh, uh, if if the shine, I don't know if Lenwood is available. Where you been, Freedia? I don't think I've seen you in a minute. Where you been? Anyway, y'all know I, I pick with y'all family. Hey, Prophet Brandon. Uh, Y'all see, Carolyn has a new picture. She going after the right one, y'all. My daughter, Carolyn. I didn't put her in the lineup because I didn't know if that was the right one. <laughs> y'all got to hit me and tell me when y'all got new pictures and things. Um, I, I want to talk about, I love, I love to see change. I love to see I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, I love it. Um, Deshaun, if Lynn would come in, I really want him to hear this message. Um, y'all, y'all do what I tell y'all to do for Prophet Claiborne. All right, try to find Prophet Claiborne. If you have not um, listened to. Uh, okay, I'll write this down. Y'all bring Mika up. If you have not listened to the end of the interview or the podcast, hey Dawn, Dawn D. If you have not listened to the podcast from Prophet Brian Carn yesterday, we ended up, ended up doing two hours. Um, it's on his Facebook, or it is also on. Uh, It is also on uh, uh, what's brewing. What's brewing? That is his. Uh, that's his coffee shop. All right, go listen to it. And also, Dr. Donald. Uh, I can't say the name of his podcast, uh, uh, but you, 
<laughs> you can find it on his page. Uh, it's a great interview about life. Uh, it's a it's a podcast that I talk about um, things that you go through on your assignment. Uh, it, it, it's good. I, I talk about relationship too. Uh, I want to talk about God's season or yeah, God's season. Uh, get as many people in here, y'all. You know, I'd be thinking some lessons are better than others. And I think this is one of them. Um, God's seasons or God's systems and seasons. God's systems and seasons or God's seasons and systems, whatever you, you want, you prefer, whatever floats your boat. Um, I'm going to be reading from John 5 and one remember principles work um, for anybody so if you're not a believer uh, it's okay I was uh, walking today and um, we have a beautiful riverfront it's probably one of the reasons why I live where I live and um, I was walking and here in Detroit, I live by the Detroit River. And here recently, uh, Bernice, here recently, Fred, there are ships that travel all over the world that dock here. And the ship on one side of the river is Detroit. The other side is Windsor, Ontario. It, it just takes a bridge for us to get to Canada from Detroit. Fun fact. And there was a a big cruise ship that was on the Canada side. And all of a sudden, it started going diagonally across the river. And then I noticed it was actually not going diagonally. It was making a turn. It was making a turn. And I noticed the turn because the ship was so big that it could not make a sudden turn, but it made a slow turn. As big as it was, I'd never seen a ship turn. You know, that's why the Titanic went down because it didn't have enough space to turn around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it didn't have enough space. This ship needed a lot of a lot of space to turn around. It, it don't make no difference how 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 big or how little or who you are. There's always a time in your life that you can turn around. There's always a there's always a space. You just need to know how much space you need to put between you and the turn. <laughs> I said you need to know the ship and when it turned, it didn't immediately, because it was trying to go to the other side, but it was still in the middle of the river. Y'all not saying nothing. When, when God has, when God has big things for you, when God has amazingly big things for you, sometimes it takes longer for the turnaround to come because there's so much just Jessica there's so much that God has for you well I, I, I believe brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen that we are on the precipice yes 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 uh, Dr. Paulette it's, it's that close literally 
I can see Canada from my window if I if I look out at the right angle. Um, I, I, I believe that we are. Thank you for sharing, Harriet. That we are we are we are so close that we are at that moment right now that we are turning, and it may not seem like, it may not feel like. Because the thing that God has for you, Bria, is so magnanimous, it's so huge, that it's going to take a minute for you to turn and get to the other side. That's why it's important for me to teach this today. God's systems and seasons or seasons and systems we 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 always talk about seasons seasons has to do with timing systems has the has to do with what you do when the timing comes let me let me say that again Seasons can be misappropriated if you don't have a system when the season comes. My brothers and sisters, there lies the story of the text that I'm going to teach from today. There was both season and system that was present in the text. Thank you, Rebecca. I need y'all to share. John 5 and 1. After this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is a, there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, place, place, all right? Somebody put in the comments, place, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda having five porches place porch in these lay a, 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 a great multitude of impotent folk of blind halt withered waiting for the move in of the water for an angel went down system this deals with system for an angel went down. No, no, I'm sorry. Let me let me back up. I'm ahead of myself. For an angel went down at a certain season. This is where season and system collides. A certain angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the waters. System. And whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in it was made whole of whatsoever whosoever could go down with no respectable person and whatsoever they had you missing it paulette huh this is a matter of the whosoever and the whatsoever huh whosoever Bobby and Stacy and Prophet Jerry, come on up. They 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 are part of our stage on, on these days, y'all. Whosoever and the whatsoever. That lets us know that today's text and today's message ain't got nothing to do with ain't got nothing to do with a respectable person. And it has nothing to do with what you're going through. There was all kind of people. It was the whosoever, and they had whatsoever. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. And when Jesus saw him live, he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me in the pool, but while I'm coming, another step is down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise up, take up your bed 
or your mat and walk. I want to talk about systems and seasons. Seasons and systems. Seasons has to do with timing. Systems have to do with the way you do something. You can have a season and not know what to do with it. Some people have missed out on what God has for them. Because they didn't know what to do in the season. Y'all, y'all not helping me today. Y'all being rude. This is a man that has been in this shape for 38 years. And the text suggests that he had been to the pool several times and missed it. I want to talk to somebody today, Erica, who has missed opportunities. We are standing five and a half months away from the end of this year. I want to talk to somebody who, who, who simply will admit, Bishop, there have been times in my life when opportunity collided with my purpose and I missed it. You have to be able to embrace that you may. I, I tell preachers all the time, Prophet Jerry, that we're going to miss it sometime. We're going to think we heard one thing and we heard another. Or because we didn't hear something fast enough, we, we went on and did what we thought we heard. But I tell them all the time, if you miss it, just tell the people, I missed it. Admit that you have made a mistake in season. You didn't make the mark. You missed it. I missed my season. I missed my timing. I literally miss God, Bishop Twyman. I miss my season. I miss my timing. There are people who won't admit, Brandon, that I miss God. They see the negative results of, of, of missing, of missing it, but still won't admit that they missed it. Me too, Dr. Paulette. I, 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 I don't care how much you prayed. I don't care how much you fasted. You're not saying nothing. I don't care how much you sought God. I don't care how far you can see in the spirit. All of us, under my voice, have been at a place in their life that they missed it. I want to admit, Prophet Michael, I want to admit that I've been in this thing a long time. But I want to admit, Linwood, there are times that I didn't hit the bullseye. There are times that I didn't make the mark. If you can embrace that you didn't hit the bullseye every time, you can prosper from your mistakes. If you can admit that you missed it, you'd be the best version of you in life. It's not the man across the street that caused it not to happen. It's not the black man, the white man, the Jew, the Indian, or none of them. It's not, it's, it's not any of them. It's not somebody who crossed you up or blocked you or blocked your progress, but I missed it. Hmm? I need to say that I missed it. Nobody did you anything. Huh? The difference in David and Saul, Prophet Claiborne, is that David admitted. He said, my sins are ever before you. Yes, I did it. But Saul tried to lie his way out of it. Let me ask you, let me ask you three questions. Is there anybody here that feel like you should be further ahead 
than you are. Did you hear the question? Is there anybody here that feel like you, you, you should be further ahead than you are? Number two, is there anybody here that feels like you should be doing more than you're doing? Is there anybody here that feels like you should be doing? And number three, is there anybody here that feel like you should have more than what you have? Let me help you. If you receive a true prophecy and it has not happened, it's not that the word wasn't true. The word was true. It was a true word of God. But maybe the truth is of the matter is that you missed it. You know why you feel like you're behind? You like you feel like you're not in step? You didn't do what was needed. I know you were, I, I, I know what y'all want, but today I can't give it to you. Huh? You have to do what's needed to be done. You can come in here and command your morning every morning. You can come and do the right when the right one comes. You can go in Dr. E's room. You can go in Patrick's room. You can go in, in, in Prophet, Prophet Claiborne's room. You can go to Prophet Jerry's at, on Wednesdays at 1. You can go to all these rooms. You can stay out in midnight prayer. But you know what the missing element is? The missing element is that you have to do what you're instructed to do. We can give you the tools. But we can't make me we can't make you use them. We can take you to the water. Somebody said that was me. Thank you for admitting. It. We can take you to the water. You can be thirsty. And the old saying says, you can take a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. We are at the halfway point of 2023. And certain things have been declared on your life. Hmm? They've been declared to you and they have not happened. Or we didn't move into the things that God has said that we missed the opportunities. Here's the wonderful thing about God. You ready? Because I know Prophet Brandon, you say I'm giving the word of correction, but I, I, got, I got good news for you, Prophet Brandon. Don't go nowhere. Huh? You ready? I need everybody to put these two words. I need everybody to put these words. It's probably about four or five. You ready? The Bible says he will redeem the times. Somebody say, he's redeeming my time. Hmm? Come on. He's redeeming my time. He's redeeming my time. Joel 2 says, he will restore the years. That the locust destroyed, the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar destroyed. That simply means that God will restore the thing you missed in the season. You should have received your miracle. Let me say it again. That simply means that God is restoring the thing that you think you missed or that you missed and you were supposed to receive. I need 19 people plus one person to put this in the comments. Tell somebody, I refuse to miss it this time. Come on, put it in there. I refuse to miss it. I refuse to miss it. Come on up, uh, nephew, Walton. I refuse to miss it. This time, I'd have missed it before, huh? But I refuse to miss it this time. Y'all ain't saying nothing, Freddie, huh? I need, I need, I need ten more people. I refuse. Hey, Claiborne, 
We've been given another opportunity. Huh? As Ricky Dillard said, one more chance. Hmm? Verse number four in the text, and an angel will come down at a certain season and trouble the water. It simply says at a certain season, God would do this. It had nothing to do with prayer. I love prayer. It had nothing to do with fasting. I love fasting. Huh? It had nothing to do with being deep. It had nothing to do with the flesh or anything to do that was provoked by the flesh. It didn't even, it was something that God decided to do. Every now and then, brothers and sisters, I'm happy over here. I'm twiddling my feet, huh? Every now and then, uh, it was something that God decided in his good pleasure. There are some things that God will decide to do because he decided to do it. Huh? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Huh? Some of you are going to be blessed just because God is deciding to bless you. <laughs> you know why? Because it's the season for you to be blessed. Huh? Somebody put in the comments, I'm getting ready to get a just because blessing. Woo! Y'all not saying nothing. Y'all don't know how to receive a prophet. God said to tell you that you're about to get a just because. Why? Just because you've been, just because you've been faithful, just because you showed up, just because you've been consistent. Y'all not saying nothing. Just because it's your time to be blessed. No bargains. Y'all not saying that. No bargains. Huh? Bishop Jakes coined the phrase, favor ain't fair. It's a just because. We think that we have to convince God to bless us. We have to make a bargain for him to bless us. We think we have to convince God to bless us. Huh? There's just some time. That God decides to bless you. There's a season without you doing anything. Huh? That 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 Monique, God decides to bless you. It hey y'all. I came as a prophet of the Lord. Huh? And I need to tell you that it's that season. Huh? Sylvia, it's the season <coughs> where God has decided. <coughs> To bless you. Third John 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health as thy soul prosper. Psalms 35 and 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Job 36 and 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Job, uh, Proverbs 10, 22. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich, maketh rich, and add no sorrow with it. Uh, uh, Psalm 30 and 6, and in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Just because. Isn't it, isn't it, Claiborne, Claiborne, isn't it interesting that we understand that without praying and fasting, we suffer. Huh? Isn't it interesting that we understand that without praying and fasting, we suffer? And we don't have to, we don't have to pray for problems. They just come. It's just something God uses to get our attention. Huh? Problems, suffering. Claybon, you agree with that? I, I mean, we don't pray up suffering. So why is it so hard, Nina, to understand that God can do the same thing with blessing, that without fasting, without praying, we can be blessed. It's just time. It's just a time on the calendar when God said, I'm tired of letting you get whipped. I'm tired of you going through. I'm tired of testing you. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to bless you. <laughs> hey, hey, Christina, it, 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 it's just time. Huh? It's just time to bless you. First thing, Dr. Paulette, 
Shana ma seke le roboshe. Roto boshe. Rata na na ma seke la na ma so. Roto boshe. Kala na ma seke la na ma so. Ye. Ye. He da na ma so. Ye da na ma so ko lo do boshe. Ana na ma se. Lo no na mo sa ka da 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 ma so. Ye. Ye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that time. <laughs> ah, it's just that time. First thing we need is information. Not only about the season, Claiborne. We need revelation about the system. I'm talking about understanding systems and seasons. Did you hear what I said? We we don't we don't just need y'all not saying nothing. For, for, for first thing we need. We know it's our season. Linwood. We, we, we know it's our season. Shadamase. Glory. Shanada. We know the season. We, 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 we sense the season. There's a commercial that come on and says the signs are all around us. We, we sense it. We, we, we claim on. We taste it. We, 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 we touching it. But we need revelation about the system. You know, I know it's my season so much. I hear you, I hear you, Lord. I hear some of y'all saying that I sit at my desk working for these people, but I see myself in my season. Have you ever been to the place that you know, Diamond, that is your season? But you just can't figure out what to do next. Oh God. Man, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm giving you the next of your life. Have you ever been to the place? Bishop Taiwan, that you know it's your season. Some things have fallen into place, but you just don't know what to do. The sons of Issachar, which is my favorite tribe, they understood the times, the seasons, and what to do. 19 people all over here put in the comments, give me the Issachar anointing. Give me the Issachar anointing. Y'all do me a favor. Y'all track with me. You put all them comments in there. It distracts me. So just, just, just track with me where I'm going. All right. First thing we need is information. Not only about the season. But we need revelation about the system. With every season, Linwood. Come in, Linwood. Come in, Linwood. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. Linwood, come in. In case he miss it, wife, Miss Linwood, I need you to make sure that he get it. We need revelation about the system. With every season, comes a system what is a season season is the timing 
but system says what to do with the timing. I know it's my season, but if I don't move right, if I don't, if I, I'm going to mismanage, Lord, help me in here today. Dawn, help me. I'm going to mismanage. I'm going to mismanage what you've given me to do. I hear you, God. I pray and I know it's my season, Barbette. Prophet Jerry, Nina. But I don't want to fumble it this time. I don't want to do the wrong thing because everything you ever want to see a disorganized church? A church, a business can have a season. But if they don't have a good system in place, they will take in people. You will get business in your business. But people won't come back to you because you don't have a system in place to handle them. Some of y'all have had seasons before. But your system is messed up. You, you, you got a good product. But your website is horrible. You got a good product. But your presentation is horrible. You got a lot of money, but you don't know how to. You don't have a system for your money. You got a wonderful house, but you ain't got no kind of systems in place. Stuff all over the place. You don't know where nothing is. You got a beautiful car, but you ain't got no system. We need revelation about the system. With every season comes a system. And the system has to do with, if you're a believer, the way in which God decides to do it. We know he's going to do it. We know he going to do it. We just don't know how this time he's going to do it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Boy. If ain't nobody happy, I am. The people in the text. Hmm? The, different, the difference between seasons. Is the information you know. Did you hear what I said? The, the difference in seasons is information. The way I know what to wear. Come here, Jerry. Prophet Jerry. The way I know what to wear. Is because of a system that is on my phone called the weather app. It tells me what the temperature is going to be. There's a system in place. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hmm? If you ever want to make somebody miss their season, give them misinformation. I look like a fool in June. 85 degrees today in Detroit, stepping out in a scarf, a winter hat, gloves, and a wool coat. I have misinformation. Or, Prophet Jerry, I have no information. No information. 
and misinformation both will cause you not to embrace your season. The people in the text who received their miracle were not church people. They were not deep people as we would call deep. Not necessarily righteous people, Prophet Jerry, but people but people that had information. They had information they needed to be where they needed to be to experience what God was doing. Did y'all hear what I said? Yeah, the preachers ain't saying nothing. I must be mismanaging this text because uh, did y'all hear what I said? I said the people weren't necessarily saved. They weren't righteous. They, they, they just knew that at a certain season that there was there was a there was a troubling I almost spoke in tongue there was a troubling of the water and whosoever went down huh you you don't need to be a Christian to have the right information because the information is principles and I tell you principles work it didn't say those that hung out in the temple. It said at a certain season, the angel would come down and trouble the water and whosoever would go in the water with whatsoever. Oh, shut up. Y'all not saying nothing. Which, which, which helped me to understand that God in that season had no respect to person. They just had to understand the season and had to understand the system. The season was at a certain time. The system was an angel would come down and trouble the water and whosoever, which had whatsoever. I'm done, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. Lord, help us to perceive the right season and the system that you're working on. If you could ever line up the season, Miss B. Johnson, I feel like I'm preaching the best sermon I ever preached in my life. If we could ever, if we could ever, if we could ever, if we could ever, understand the season and the system y'all not saying nothing this was most this was not something that was manipulated by prayer or fast and this was not something that was on the calendar huh that's why we need a prophet so he can reveal what's on the calendar of god what's on the mind of god because without a prophet, God can do nothing on the earth. Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. He declares the end from the beginning. 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 The from the beginning. And we know that all things work together for the good of them bring Gregory up that love God and to them who are the called according to the, the Bible says that who that that whoever Lynn would the 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 the, the, the thing not to do right now brother Lynn would none of y'all is to say I don't know why nobody else I don't I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why I know I got what everybody else got. I know what it, I know I got what it takes. I know I can do just as good as this one. I know, no, you need to be finding out your season. You need to be finding out your system whereby God wants. I'm in my system, baby. Four years ago, my season was the word network and be on TV. But three years ago, 
the season and the system changed. My system now is virtual. Somebody asked me this morning. Hey, Nina, Nina, is Nina still here? She gone? Nina still here. Uh, your sister asked me. She called me about somebody, called me about Javon Milton. And uh, she said, she said to me, when you opening your church back up? I said, I'm not. She said, huh? I said, I'm not. I said, I'm not. She said, what you mean? I'm not open my church. Okay. I said, I preach every day just about. I said, I got a good church. It's called Clubhouse Church. It's called When the Right One Comes. It's called Groundbreaking. I got many locations. I got TikTok. I got Instagram. I got Facebook. I got, I got, I got YouTube. Y'all ain't saying nothing. No, 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 no. I ain't telling nobody else about their season and system. I'm talking about the season. See, it could be all of our season. Y'all not saying nothing. But we got different systems. Diamond. Y'all not saying nothing. My certain time came. Y'all not saying. You got to you gotta discern the time. Y'all gonna miss it. The seed today is $50. The seed today is $50. 50 is the number of release. 50 is the number of jubilee. So that, that you're putting in the comments when you sow your seed. Boy, y'all quick now, Roby. Huh? You're sowing your seed of $50. There's somebody that's gonna double the seed of 100. Huh? And you're going to put in the comments seasons and systems. Huh? Seasons and systems. The given information is on the screen. You're sowing a seed of, of, of $100. You're doubling to $100 or you're giving $50. Seasons and systems. Seasons Prophet Brandon, get as close as you can to that hundred dollars a day. You know, I don't do that, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God wants to unlock some mysteries in your life, young man. The given information is on the screen. Seasons and systems. I'm not done. The Bible says, whoever got in the pool first, the system. Patrick, the system was whoever got in the pool first. <coughs> the timing, the season was at a certain time of the year. Boy, if y'all knew what I was about to go with this. The Bible says whoever got in the pool first, they needed the information. They needed it in a timely fashion so you can work the system. The problem is most church folk can't hear a prophet because they don't believe in them. They get in their rooms when they need a quick fix, but then they never come back around. So you don't know what God is saying. Oh, God. Can I, can we find the seer? I know a seer in town. Let's bring them something in. The donkeys are found, but you're going to be the new king. <laughs> Y'all be like, Bishop is crazy. Information is the only thing you lack. You don't lack your season, Pastor Patrick. It's your season. You just need the information of what to do next. That's the system. System means how we go about doing in this season. And the thing about it is, it ain't the same system all the time. Some people trying to work an old system. Some of y'all still on eight tracks. 
Some of y'all go all the way back to cassettes. You like the man and I'm going to get you a sucker. You walking out of jail in glass heels with fish going around. Because you're in the wrong season. I mean, you're in the wrong system. It was the man's season when he got out of jail. And I'm going to get you a sucker. Have you ever seen that movie? But he was operating on an old system. That's why your phones mess up sometimes. Because some of y'all need to let your grandchildren show y'all how to update the system on your iPhone. That's how you're doing right now with life. You on an old system. You trying to work an old system. Nineteen people plus one put in the comment. Work the system. Hey Patrick, Jerry, well wealthy people know the system. Their money works for them. Because they know the system. Wealthy people know how to, The Bible says in Hosea, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, a lack of knowing the system of how God works. The Bible says he made his ways known unto Moses. works works how god works how god does what he does the bible says whoever got in first there's something about honoring time that turns god on whoever got on whoever got in first the text says patrick jerry claybone whoever got in first god honors time Whoever got in first, whoever was at the right place at the right time, because they knew it was a moving. He is a God of order. Whoever gets in first, be there on time and make a priority of what it is I give you to do. <coughs> Carolyn Thomas, I will bless you but you have to make a priority of what I tell you to do. What I tell you to do is a priority. Oh, 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 oh. You can't be doing a lot of other things. You have to make a priority of what it is I said. In order to work the system, you have to make a priority of what God tells you. I'm going to get to it, God. File that LLC. I'm going to get to it, God. Start that incorporation. I'm going to get to it, God. No, when he's telling you, that means it's a priority. And that means he got something that he's doing when he tells you to do what you're doing. Elijah and the woman. Huh? What you doing over there? I'm gathering some sticks. Go home and make her a last meal, me and my son, and we're going to die. No, that ain't what you're going to do. Bring me a small piece of the bread and of the cake. Prophet Claiborne, don't run. Or what you or what you have, bring it to me first. Make me the priority first. Make, make what, what God is saying the priority. We have not made what God told us to do. Every morning, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I come in Prophet Claiborne. This man right here labors and, and gives you opportunity in prayer to in in and stays in conversations with Pastor Patrick. They doc, Dr. E, Prophet is Nina crying all night long for you. And you ain't nothing but fat. Fat off the word. About the burst. Ooh, I'm so full. They just feed me till. Pray to heaven, feed me till I want no more. You just sitting by the pool. You on the porch. The 
we have not made what God told us to do a priority. Abel made what God said a priority, but Cain took his time. Stop bringing God a Cain offering. Preacher Claybone. Hey, Claybone. I'm, I'm being funny calling you like John. Hey, Claybone. By the pool were five porches, Claybone. Somebody say five porches. And five pools. Every pool had a porch. The angel, though, was in the pool. Claybone, don't preach for me. The angel was in the pool. But the people were on the porch. The porch was close to the pool. But it wasn't the pool. Don't confuse the porch. Hey, y'all, Claybone closing this room because I'm going to run around my balcony and I, I'm, I'm happy right now. Huh? I promise you. I promise you I'm happy right now. Huh? Don't confuse the porch. Claybone. Don't confuse the porch with the pool. The pool is not the porch. Don't get mad at somebody else because they decided to get in the pool. And you're not spiritual enough to get in the pool. The pool. I feel like Delano Ellis, uh, uh, Claiborne. The pool is where the angel is. That's where God is doing it in the pool, but you laying around on the porch and you listening to people tell you what God is doing for them, but you won't get, you won't even roll yourself in. You won't even try to get in. You make me scream on this kid. Come on, you hear me? You sitting here talking about, I can't stand him. Got his own gym shoes. Talking about life. Porch mentality. Look at Carolyn's new picture. Who she thinks she is getting all fine. She preparing in position. A porch. Got a bunch of porch monkeys. Just sit on the porch smiling. You know what I'm saying? On the porch. And the minute somebody get in the pool, you hear the people from the porch. Baby, I'm preaching in here today. You hear me? You hear me? I'm going to sow a seed to myself today. I'm preaching. Prophet Jerry won't even do one for me today. Huh? We got porch mentality. Mad because somebody else decided to get in the pool, but you're not spiritual enough to get in there. Five porches, five pools. The porch was only the waiting area for the season. And when the season came, you had to work the system. The angel came down. We're sowing a $50 seed. Everybody, everybody, you're sowing a $50 seed. You're sowing a $50 seed. Get off the porch. Sow that seed today. Some of you are doubling the seat. Dollar sign, Greg Davis. You're so, I need somebody over on Instagram to put the information up. The angel came down to the pool, not the porch. The angel didn't, didn't come where they were. He came to the pool and they had to go where he was. The angel came down to the pool, not the porch where the people were. Because there is no move of God on the porch. There's no miracle on the porch. You can't start your new business on the porch. The right one ain't walking up to the porch. Your man ain't on the porch. If he is, he ain't doing nothing. Your woman ain't on the porch. Your money ain't on the porch. The move of God, the system 
says, get in the pool. The move is in the pool. Too many people in the church are on the porch. Everybody on the porch has an issue. The issues are on the porch. Sickness and disease is on the porch. Poverty is on the porch. Love you, son. But the healing, the deliverance is in the pool. I'm done. The man is approached by Jesus. He recognized this man has been here too long. He was there 38 years. Recognize that this man has been in this condition a long time. He asked him, do you want to be made whole? Because everybody don't want to be made whole. There's some folk that like the porch. I like the porch, Master. I want to be on the porch. I like the porch. I didn't even know he was free to move around. I like the porch. He said, every time I tried to get in, somebody jumps in in front of me. I've been here for 38 years, year after year, doesn't change, year after year. I just sit here waiting for God. I'm just waiting on Jesus. Lord, I'm waiting on the right one, year after year. I'm waiting on start that business, year after year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hello. I've been right here with you, Bishop. Huh? I've been right here with you. I'm waiting for the right one. Oh, yeah. No, it ain't going to happen. No, it happened. Yeah, it happened to Candace. Well, it happened to Candace and, and Josh. It happened to this one and and and, and the Beals. But I'm just going to sit here and wait. Uh-huh. See, Linwood and Josh got off the porch. They approached them. That's the system. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. A day I'm about to leave. Y'all close the room. Shut the door. Brandon, say the benediction. You need to understand something that that the condition that he was in demanded help for him to get in. You mean to tell me out of 38 years, come here, y'all, come here, come here. I'm about to drop the bomb on you now. Come here, come here, porch people, come here. He tells Jesus, I had no man to put me in when the water was troubled. I didn't have nobody. You mean to tell me you've been on this porch 38 years and you ain't made no relationships? Oh, y'all didn't think I was going that way. Y'all didn't think I was going that way. Claiborne, Claiborne, Claiborne. You mean to tell me you've been here 38 years and you have no community. You have not made no relationship. You don't get along with nobody. Will nobody help you? You, you complain about is you you should I mean you ain't made no relationship you ain't said nothing to nobody everybody y'all it was a man that got me on tv and you mean tell me you've been here 38 years and you don't know nobody you've been on this app two or three years and you ain't reached out to nobody that can help you get your llc get your corporate papers help you do what you need to do i am not the best person when it comes to those things, paperwork, but I surround myself. Henry Ford only had the idea of the car, but he had engineers that helped him develop the car. You don't know everything. You need somebody to help you. 38 years, you've been sitting here. You, you've you been sitting here waiting for somebody to put you in. You ain't said nothing to nobody. You just sitting there. I'm just waiting on Jesus. You just sitting there all this time. You've been single for 10 years. You ain't did nothing. I wish y'all saw me on, on this thing. Carolyn probably laughing at me. You ain't got no community. You ain't got, we talked about that on the, on the podcast. You ain't got nobody to help you. You ain't got nobody. And you ain't made no relationship. You ain't reached out to nobody. You ain't said nothing to nobody. Ain't nobody you can call on. Ain't nobody that can sign for you. Ain't nobody that can vouch for you. Ain't nobody that can say nothing on your behalf. Ain't nobody that can speak up for you. Ain't nobody that can help you. For 38 years, nobody, 
You don't watch everybody else walk and walk in this porch. When the angel come down, you ain't got nobody. I know your condition, I under, but you ain't got nobody. You have not one person you can reach out to. You are such a, you are such a, I don't know what you are. You ain't got nobody. <coughs> I don't know how Claymore do all that. Uh, there are some conditions like this man that demands help from somebody else. But you can't know it all. You can't, everybody. Prophet Frank Delaney had me at his conference. And he stood me up and me and Prophet Dwayne Harden he said, these are my two spiritual fathers. He said, my spiritual father over here, he is the king of media. He's the reason why I'm on TV and exposed. He's the king of marketing. He said, but my other father speaks to another piece of me, Hebrew and Greek. He speaks to the, the Jewish piece of me, the piece that I need. He said, and they both make the one that I need. You ain't got no mentor. You ain't got no spiritual father. You don't have nobody that can that can guide you. For I, the Bible talks about then what? For I have no guide. You just a wonder in your soul. You a wonder in your soul. He told Jesus, I ain't got nobody to help me. 38 years and you have not made no relationship you've been living all this time and you ain't made no connection you be in clubhouse and we offer all kind of services we are a community i have taught family so much you need to understand something that the condition he was in demanded to help Prophet Jerry for him to get in. You've got to know that even though God is working a miracle, you got to know when your condition demands help from somebody else. Even though he's working a miracle, he works through people. I know we preach get yours for yourself, and but sometimes you're going to need somebody to help you in. Dog on it. I'll call Michael in a minute. I asked him, I said, hey man, how you get them shoes? I need to put, I need to put, I need to put when the right one comes. I need to put uh uh go with card on some shoes. Why would I be searching and struggling trying to find something? People call me all the time. I am a doorman, I help people. The angels the angel, the angel is stirring the water. Hey, y'all, danger is stirring the water. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. It's time to get in. Hmm? Come join my community over here, Crystal, on Clubhouse, when the right one comes. You on it right now. We have a community seven days a week. They got all kind of information over here. It's interesting to me that he was there so long and did not develop any relationship to help him get in. One of the main elements of receiving a miracle is to know how to have healthy relationships, build your community. Lynn Wood, you already started TV and radio. When you come on Clubhouse, you're starting it. I'm on TV and radio now. All these cameras in front of me. TV and radio ain't what it used to be. 6,000 people 
as of this morning. 6,000 people had watched Prophet Karn's show from yesterday. 6,000. I got one video right now that's at 1 million, 1.1 million. I got another video that's climbing, the one I posted last week with the boy talking about the girl called him at 11 o'clock. It's at 80 some thousand people. It's one thing to be on TV and radio and they have the platform. It's another when it's your own platform. Y'all not saying nothing. I got viral videos all over the place. No, no, no. I'm not bragging on me. I'm trying to tell you. You got to work the moment. Hey, Claiborne, I'll tell you. When it comes to black Christian television, I am a pioneer. Some of y'all didn't know me until this app. I am a pioneer. I was the first black host to host a show on a major network 16 years ago. Y'all not saying nothing. If this wasn't where God was, now nah, I wouldn't be here because I'm where God is. Terrestrial TV as we knew it is not it. People, everybody can have a show. You got to know what the system is. Why you think I'm building a podcast studio? Y'all know what a podcast is? It ain't nothing but an interview. We just gave it another name. A podcast ain't nothing but an interview. Everybody got a show now. You just got to be consistent. Nobody wants to be consistent. Cause we want, we, 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 we want, we want, we want, do you know, do you know why? Do you know why 65 people are here now? And you said, well, that ain't as many that be here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. No, it's not. The difference in these people that are here right now and those that are here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we are a community. We're taking a journey together. I'm building these people. Y'all not saying nothing. Are y'all hearing me? There's nothing wrong with Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's needed too. Are y'all listening to me? I'm clear about my assignment and the system in which I'm working my system. Glory to God. I'm working my system. I am off the porch. I'm in the pool. But when we started this, I don't know if Ade is on the phone, if she's here, where she's on the phone. When we started this, one point something million people had been in here when Angelica was still here. She used to watch the numbers. One point something million people have been in. Thank you, man. I love you, Tim Newton. I love you, man. Huh? 1.2 million had been in, in my clubhouse club when Angelica was still taking the numbers. It's probably 1.5, 1.4. I don't know what, just on clubhouse. You know where that comes from? Three years almost, November, of not missing one day. I have not missed one day. I have not missed one day. I can't sing and chant and make up make up praise and worship songs and 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 do like i share timothy newton stuff because that's that's his system you gotta work your season and you gotta work your your system you're sewing that 50 dollars. you're doubling it to 100. you're sewing that 50. when you sow you're working the system of seed time and harvest you're working the system. I, man, I've been on here an hour and 16 minutes. I'm done because y'all ain't getting. And at a certain time, season, there was a troubling of the water. And the angel would come down and trouble the water. And whosoever got in with whatsoever, that's the system, was healed. 
That's all you had to do was get in there. And since you didn't make no relationships, Jesus came to him and said, take up your bed and walk because I am the system. I'm going to give you a chance. Since you missed it and you didn't build no relationships, since it's my system, take up your bed and walk. Sonia, daughter, we know the season. You've called me before and said, Dad, blah, 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 blah. And I told you what to do. That's the system. You sense it's your you sense you sense it's your season. But the thing that you are lacking, y'all, is the system. For the sons of Issachar. Come on, Crystal, join us. Join us. Download the app, Crystal. The thing that you lack. Is the system. Lord help me. Nina you ain't saying nothing. Help me with the. The system. Nina here every night. 12 midnight. Crying loud spinner. Find when the right one comes Crystal. Go on there and find my name, Bishop Greg Davis, or, 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 or when the right one comes and follow us every day, three o'clock. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Erica, thank you for your hundred dollars. Frida, thank you for your 50. Callan, thank you for your 50. Deshaun, thank you for your seed. But there are 10 more that's going to sow $50. There's one more person that's going to sow 100 Thank you, Jesus. I need you to move. You can invite as many people as you want, Crystal. You can invite as many people as you want. Y'all come on. Um, somebody come on Instagram and say hello, Crystal. And follow her and help her through. Somebody who will come over on Instagram and 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 go in her DM and help her. Come on, I need somebody from the family. I need I need ten more people to sell fifty dollars. Dollar sign Greg Davis ten. Lord have mercy, an hour and twenty minutes. I didn't mean to do this. Was this good? Dollar sign Greg Davis 10. PayPal, contact Greg Davis at gmail.com. There's Erica Harrison. Erica, there she is right there. PayPal, contact Greg Davis at gmail.com. Give Lafayette, Greg Davis Ministries. Zell, Greg Davis at gmail.com. Venmo, Greg Davis 1. Hey, TikTok. Thank you for your likes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You're sowing that seed of 50. You're sowing that seed of 50. I can't see nothing but cash app at the moment. You're sowing for seasons and systems. I know some of y'all don't. Y'all didn't like this. Because, you know, we want it to be instant. And that's the problem. You're belly aching too much about, about what ain't happening and what you need to do and all that. That's the porch. It's okay. You're gonna have porch people. This ain't this ain't a shout message, you know, you know, um, cause because it, it 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 takes the responsibility off of God. And see, y'all saying that it, it, I don't even think this is a message of correction, but you know, have you take it? <laughs> huh? I love you, and I want you to grow. If you understand that even the system of giving, if you if you understood that when you give, you're not losing, you're winning. That's that's a system. Seed time and harvest is a system. Tides and offering is a system. Huh? 
Consistency is a system. Hmm? If we ever understood the system. Good. I'm glad you inspired. I'm glad. I love y'all TikTok. I'm out of here. Peace. Bless you. I'm done over here. Bless y'all Instagram. Crystal, we'll see you on Clubhouse. Blessings. I'm done. I'm done on Facebook. I'm done on here. Bless y'all. Give that seed. See you next time.